Hi, I'm Jenny with JustPoppin.com and today we are going to be popping some popping sorghum. And if you've ever seen it before, or never seen it before, it's these little tiny grains. And uh, we're using the dry method today and we're using a uh, high-sided pot because as you can imagine, if you tried to pop this in an air popper, you'd have an enormous kitchen cleanup mess. It's very so, light and small and blows yes. all over the house. So we've been preheating... We know this from experience. <laughs> yeah. We've been preheating the pot on five, on medium, for about two minutes. And a good way to test it is a little drop of water in the bottom. And I don't know if you can see the little water droplets dancing across the bottom of the pan. And we know that it's going to be hot enough. So I'm going to put in the eighth of a cup of sorghum seed, which is great serving size for one person. And just shake to evenly distribute. And then just gently move the grains around the pot. And we've actually found that this does better in a stainless steel pot than it does in a black pot, let's say a cast iron, for instance. And you certainly wouldn't want to use the dry pop method on a non-stick pan. No. So gently stir your seeds to and keep them from may, burning. You may see in the video some smoke and... It's going to smoke. It will definitely smoke. We won't turn on the hood fan because it'll be a bit noisy. Okay, we're already starting to pop. It's really quick. Once it starts to pop, turn it down to just about four to keep it from burning and just continue your gentle, gentle stirring. While you listen to the cute popping sounds of your teeny tiny sorghum. And we used an eighth of a cup because it seems to be a good single serve size and it, it's just the right amount to uh, get just about all of it popped in the dry method. Uh, the, using oil in the popper tends to give you an ability to pop a whole quarter cup. Ooh. Once in a while one goes rogue. <laughs> Mostly stays in though. And as you can see for the most part they won't pop out of the bowl so you can do this with a lid off. It's a lot of fun. I can imagine kids would love it. With adult supervision, of course. Yes. Okay. Most of the grains will pop. Not all of them, so just, you know, keep an eye on it. You don't want what's popped to burn. Don't expect them all to pop, but you'll get a pretty good pop rate out of this. Looks like we're starting to slow down here. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. So I'm going to take it off the heat. Just grab a plate or a bowl or something, pour it out. Off. Just be careful, it will be really, really, really hot. So maybe just shake it out to help it cool down a bit. Now would be a great time to sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese, or some salt, or eat it plain. Some clarified butter mm. would be delicious. Or eat it plain. <laughs> it's incredibly healthy. And, and uh, crunchy, and tiny, and so delicious. Mm. Excuse me, I want to eat the rest. Thanks for watching. Happy puffin'.